Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work, uh, and today I am back with a new tutorial about analyzing feedback, and in this case specifically customer reviews for a store. So uh, I will be using Excel here, but you could do the same on Google Sheets, uh, and uh, the GPT for Excel add-on. Again, you could do uh, the same with GPT for Sheets on Google Sheets. And the first thing I'm going to do is so I have a bunch of reviews here, about 50 of them and I will translate them into English because there are many that are not in English and I am not capable of understanding them. So I will use the bulk tool, translate. Uh, the first thing to do when you use a bulk tool is to uh, select the correct uh, header uh, name row. In this case, it's row number three. Uh, this way I can easily pick the uh, column I want to translate, reviews, and we'll start here. Uh, I will translate to English and I want to put the results into the English translation column. Okay. And I'm going to do all rows. Let's go. All right. So there you go. 50 or so reviews in a few seconds. That was fast. Um, Great, now that I have the English versions, I can perform sentiment analysis on it uh, and also verify the sentiment analysis. So let's, for sentiment analysis, I'm going to use a classify tool. I will uh, classify the English translations, so this one, into uh, happy, uh, neutral, or unhappy. And I will put the results into sentiment analysis. Let's do all rows. All right, there we go. And you can see I've got my sentiments. So let's, let's double check a few of them just to make sure. All right, so the first one uh, seems clearly uh, clearly unhappy. That's correct. Second one, a clean and well-organized store, but the staff seemed overworked. So this one, yeah, I guess unhappy is not uh, wrong, uh, but it could have been tagged as neutral. Oh, okay, uh, this one is clearly happy. This one is clearly unhappy. Okay, so I want to show you um, uh, how you can tweak the results, uh, tweak the prompts. In this case, for example, let's say that I only want the unhappy sentiment to be applied to clearly 100% unhappy reviews. I can uh, add this into the instructions and say something such as, um, only choose, uh, uh, only get it. Oops, sorry, only categorize as unhappy if the feedback is uh, completely negative. So let's try it on the cell just next to it, just to see. So to change the column, we can um, just change this here. Uh, oops, I'm going to use column G, in fact. All right. And I'm going to do just the first few three rows. Let's see if it changes something. And there you go. So in this case, uh, I tweaked the prompt to, I told the AI how I wanted my uh, categories to be applied and uh, it will give me results that I prefer. Uh, all right, so this is really easy. You can, you can do that. You can put any instructions that you want here to disambiguate or uh, uh, nudge the AI in one way or another. Okay, I think that's that's really great. Now, once I have uh, my sentiments here, what I would like to do, so the first thing you can notice is that I have applied automated conditional formatting, so that's unhappy is colored in red, happy is colored in green, and neutral is colored in yellow. This is uh, thanks to the power of Excel. And this is why it's so great to apply AI directly into Excel. Another thing you can do is just count how many reviews are unhappy, happy, and neutral. Um, so I've prepared a little table here, and I will imply, uh, apply a simple formula uh, to get this result. 
So in this case, I will apply a countif. So I'm counting all the cells of column E um, it, that are that have the value happy. And I have 15. Now I can just drag this uh, this formula, and I've get I've got all my results. And once I have this, I can easily make a chart. Insert uh, recommended chart. Let's do it. Let's do a pie chart. Okay. Move this chart around, and I can apply um, a style, a different style, or let's actually use this one. This way I get the percentage inside the pie, the different slices. Okay, uh, I think that looks great. Now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to analyze which reviews talk about which topics. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use another uh, bulk tool, which is the extracts bulk tool. And I will extract these four, whether the, the review talks about one of these four topics. So I will copy paste each of them inside here. Customer service, cleanliness, and ambience, and then value for money. All right, and I will again extract from the English translation column and put the results inside H through K. Okay, let's go. All right, and then so again, this, the cells populate with uh, detailed uh, data about what was uh, about the topic mentioned uh, uh, in each of those columns. So that's very useful. And now if I'm a uh, consumer analyst, consumer research analyst, I can easily uh, try to understand what, what went wrong and where to improve uh, in my store. So to do that, I want again to make a chart. Let me unzoom. will make things a lot easier. Uh, and I can close this for now. All right, so that you can see everything. Oops, maybe not too much. There you go. So now I've prepared this other table here and I will paste another formula uh, to count how many reviews talk about each topic. So here, count A for the full column here. So, and I have 54 of them. That So 54 columns that have a value. Okay, and now I'm going to drag this to the right, and this way I can I see that I have all the counts of each of the number of reviews that mention uh, uh, each topic. Okay, and I can do another quick chart. Insert chart. This one looks good. Okay, let's insert it. And there we go. Um, could actually, yeah, add F some labels. There we go. Um, so yeah, there we go. Of course, you could then make the tables prettier, the charts prettier, but you have, in a few minutes, uh, semantic analysis uh, of that customer, of all those customer reviews, uh, that were input in various languages. So I think this really showcases the power of uh, using uh, GPT for Excel instead of uh, Excel uh, and uh, combine it with native Excel features for a proper analysis. I uh, really hope this tutorial was helpful. Please do not hesitate to comment, say what you liked and disliked, uh, and uh, I will be back next time for a new tutorial. Thank you very much.